How's it going, guys? Dragon Alchemist here, and today I'm here with Crazy for that too. And we are playing, and we are playing Persona 4 Golden once more. We are both very enjoying this game, very much. And what was I supposed to do? I was supposed to go to bed, right? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, watch TV in your room. <laughs> do do do. Watching some midnight TV, uh... and then just sneaking in through the TV. It's raining tonight. Will something appear on TV? Hmm. What time is it? In other Inaba related news, meteorologists are predicting heavy fog throughout the year. Jesus. The region has seen an abnormal amount of fog over the past few years, and the cause of the climate change is unknown. Whatever the reason, residents of the Inaba area should be extra careful. Our broadcast tonight was extended to bring you up to date news on the incident in Inaba. The time is now midnight. Oh, hey, perfect timing. Turn off that TV. Oh, there it is. The image is there again. Seems that if the conditions are met, you can see it as many times as you want. A silhouette appeared. Seems to be a woman. Looks like she's wearing... Com oh, no. The image is out of focus that you can't tell who it is. Mm. What would happen if you touch the image in the midnight channel? Would you be able to touch the person on screen? Reach your hand the in image there. disappeared. Yeah. That's about it. That's about it. I feel like it was... Um... Oh, fucking what's her name? Kyoko. Well, if you, if you, the girl you who... Yukiko? Yukiko, yeah. Oh, oh hey, we're back here again. Great. This goblin again. This goblin. Welcome. Oh, hey. Seems glad to see your eyes are still the fucking same. Not be alarmed. You are have you been to skipping on the eye drops world. lately, Igor? <laughs> I have summoned you within, within your dreams. dreams. Ooh, spooky. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Igor. It seems you've been summoned to the velvet room. And so we meet again. This is a space that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. What contract? In your daily life, you subconsciously heard the call to oh. awaken, and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice. The persona, okay. Sounds Thereby, right. enacting your glorious awakening to your power. Hold on to this. Hold on. From this yep. night forth, you are our guest in this velvet room. Hmm. Your destiny will require you to hone your power. And for that, you will inevitably require our help. What, am I supposed to get levels up from you guys or something? There is but one prize for this assistance. Money. And what is that? You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. Fuck. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> no, no. It is fine for now. Okay. The persona you have acquired, it is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. Perhaps you can think of it as a facade of determination you wear to face various difficulties in life. Hmm. Your persona ability, however, is that of the wild card. Compared to that of others, it is very special. Does that mean I can use any persona I want? It is like the number zero. Empty, yet holding infinite potential within itself. Mm, see? Mm -hmm. Special, empty? The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. I forgot Persona is one of those games where it's all about friendship. As you form bonds you make it by sound becoming like involved thing. with others, At least it's your not... own social links will gradually develop. At least it's nothing like fucking... The powers of friendship is everything with fucking Kingdom Hearts. Oh. Yeah. The power of these social links. Don't get me wrong. This is, is a good game. But still, it's very annoying. 
I still don't get it. Social links are necessary for more than strengthening your persona. At times, they will help light the way to the truth you're searching for. So I can be best bros with Yosuke. Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. <laughs> Can I also say something? Till we meet. Well, this is called the Velvet Room. The Velvet Room. But it is in Velvet. So maybe the seating is Velvet. Maybe. I don't know. Don't question it. And it's also, raining don't once more. To double check your recording from time to time. Make sure everything yeah, is recording. Yeah, I know. Recording. I know it is. Hold on. Uh, ha, ha. It is. Mm. Oh, I wish I had two monitors. Yo. Hey, yo, Sky. Hey, you didn't saw run us over or crash. Night. I couldn't tell who it was, but if someone's shown up on TV, you can't ignore it. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. Hmm. Oh no! It turns out someone it. was thrown in again. Yeah, I know really you like said that they were the same voice actor, but uh -huh. now you're hearing about it? it now. Now you're hearing yeah. it. Yeah. Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims, if someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. We need to find the culprit, no matter what it takes. Yeah. There's no way the police can do it. Who'd believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? I want to keep my word too. Uh, I don't know what. I don't know. Yeah. Nope. Keep your word. Yeah, I'll keep my word. Totally. A promise is a promise. You know, I tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did, and it actually worked. Oh. Oh, shit. I think I can do that now because I have the same power. Persona, wasn't it? Could be that we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case. Hmm. Then again, you managed to go inside the TV and get your persona first. I feel like as long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. Yay. Well, let's do our best. Yeah. Hmm. Even with so much mystery swirling around, Yosuke is trying to give his trying his hardest to move on. You sense the fate stirring a friendship between you and Yosuke. Friendship level gone oh. up one. <laughs> thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the magician's magic. Magician Arcana. Thank you. As you form a bond with Yosuke, you feel the power in your heart and strengthening. You recall Igor's words. The persona Igor. ability Igor. is the power to control one's own heart. Now that I think about it, is strengthened through bonds. Now that I think about it, he looks like an Igor from that fucking movie Igor. Oh. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Social links? Is this bond with Yosuke what Igor was talking about? Hmm. You have established the Yosuke Hiroma social link of the Magician Arcana. Thank you. Yosuke's determination in battle has been enhanced. Yosuke can now wake up a knocked down ally during a battle. And your ally may help someone who is knocked down get back on their feet. Woo! Hell yeah. Can we skip the school and go straight to the fucking Shadow Realm? I don't know. Probably not. Uh, Chie, um, about yesterday, we're sorry we worried you. Never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? Oh shit, it looks like we have bigger huh? problems. I knew it. Uh, no. At least I haven't seen her today. Oh man, what should I do? Hey, is that stuff you were talking about for real? You know, all that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. The person on TV yesterday? I think it was Yukiko. Knew it. 
That kimono looked like the one she wears at the inn, and she wore it during that interview a few days ago, too. I got worried, so I emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. Oh, shit. I called shit. her earlier in the evening, though, and she said she'd be at school today. Oh, no. I... <sighs> Calm down. We get mm. the picture. All you right. still haven't heard from her? No. You summed up the information you gained on the other world for GA. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying Yukiko was thrown in there? We don't know yet for sure. We should check to see if she's safe first. Give yeah. her another call. Why is her finger going through her phone? Did you see her finger, Chris? I didn't. I, I, I don't think it clipped through. But anyways, fro, fro, focus, Chris. Seriously. I know. I know. Then is Yukiko-san inside that place? Mm. S stop it! Something must have come up, like an errand or something. No, oh, come on, Shia. Don't bullshit yourself like that. We gotta check. We gotta check. Oh, or she might be helping at the end. She wouldn't be able to answer her cell if that's it. Hmm. Yeah, but would she skip school for that? Yeah, see, Yosuke, Yosuke has a good point. Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um, I've got the number here somewhere. Come on. Look at her finger. Come Look on, at her finger. Yukiko, pick up. It's not clipping. It is. Look at it. No, it's not. Look closely at it. I am. It's not clipping. It is for me. I see it. God, she's there. Uh huh. Uh huh. I see. Um. Uh. Nah. It was nothing. <laughs> I'll email you again later. Hmm. <gasps> she was over at the inn. She said they had a big group reservation, and she had to help out. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> now that I think about it, this has happened before too. At least once a year. Hmm. <laughs> Were you like the mood panicked? Shit. I don't like that mood shift. She said she'll be at the inn tomorrow, too. For crying out loud, Yosuke, you got me worried over nothing. She was totally fine. You're mm. the one freaking out. Yeah. I feel like it's more of a warning. The midnight call thing and the midnight TV thing. I that's feel like right. I feel like it warns them who's going to go in. So that that's why, probably. And you were all, is Yukiko san inside that place? Hmm. Wow. S sorry, but there is a reason we thought that. Oh, yeah? What? Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. I mean, it makes sense, right? People show up on TV because they're inside the TV. But Yukiko san's still here in our world. Mm -hmm. We might want to see what this is about. All right, let's meet up at Juness after school. Are we taking Chie with us inside? I don't know. He explains to Chie in detail again what a, about what happened last night. Okay, I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. Mm. Yeah, no kidding. Anyways, we that need to sense. know what's going on inside. <laughs> yeah. Too bad there's so many customers around. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. How? By talking to that Teddy guy? Hmm? I got it. Come here a sec. Yeah, Try blocking, sticking yeah. your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. Huh. Hey, Chia. Stand over here. Make a wall with me. Oh no. A wall? You tried beckoning Teddy over. Something bit you. Uh, What's oh. wrong? Shh. Not so loud, you idiot! No, not so loud yourself, Chie! Dude! Is that a bite mark? Are you okay? Did Teddy fucking bite me? I don't know. I think I'm gonna, gonna cry. cry. <laughs> I'm fine. That's good. Sheesh, that stupid bear must
must have done it. Yep. Hey, you. We know you're in there. Oh, oh is this a game? <clears throat> Wait, he could hear us? Apparently. No, it's not a game. Can you sense anyone inside there right now? Who's anyone? I'm a lonely little bear, like always. This land feels so barren. <laughs> I hate him already. I hate him already. I love him. Shut no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't so hate him. So there's no one inside? You're sure? I'm not lying. My nose is running as good as ever. Hmm. Are you sure it's not because you have a bad disease? Does that mean Runny nose wait? Does that mean we caught it? Bad. Wait, wait. Does that mean we caught it then? Because he bit us. I don't know. I hope not. Hey, you'll be I'm fine. gonna go warn Yukiko anyway. Since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, I doubt she'd go anywhere alone. Hmm. But still. Yeah, you'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? Sure, I'll go pick her up at her house. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's midnight show. Hopefully. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. What's your cell number? I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. You exchange cell numbers with Yosuke. All right, don't forget to watch tonight. Hmm. Lots and lots of rain. Was it really Yukiko who appeared last night? We need to watch the Midnight Channel again tonight. <sighs> Meanwhile... Looks like we found all we're gonna find here. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. We don't even know if this is a homicide. That's true. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. Mm. I don't know. People know. do some crazy things. Yeah. We haven't found the cause of death for the first Vic. Now we got a second one just like it. If this is a murder case, there's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. But if that's true... What, what the, the hell is going on? on? You know... I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. Who the hell voices no, Adachi? That singer, Misuzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, mm -hmm. and her phone records prove it. And remember, the only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. Mm. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murder on their mind. I mean, hmm? Come on. criminal psychology is something. No one put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murder on their mind. You got yeah. a point there. Criminal psychology is something weird. Yep. Well, you know Same more than that. Namatame, her mm -hmm. husband. Mm -hmm. No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. He's been working in the city for the past six months. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. Huh. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead? He's been fired from his position as secretary. Oof. He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Yeah, I agree. Then we have the second case, regarding Saki Konishi. She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse. I don't buy the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. Yeah, no. She was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide her. It's like they were meant to be found. Jesus. The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was holed up. But that hardly points to a motive. And coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news too. What? Is the story about the inn out already? Who 
Okay, I got it. How's this? Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. I doubt it. And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. Hmm. Uh. Either way, all we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. Our perp. It has to be someone in Inaba. Yep. Oh, is your detective's intuition at work? Shut up, Adachi. Yeah. Welcome home. Hi. Hmm, this answer's hard. Nakago is absorbed in the quiz shell. You should leave her alone. What is the question? How will I know? You were you stood right in front of her. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Can I check here? We're here. Hmm. All right, What's then. In the fridge. I can't check the fridge. Oh, I can. Nothing catches your eye. Damn. There's no chicken, I guess. <laughs> I guess we gotta go to bed. No, ch midnight channel, remember? Oh, that's right. Then go to bed. Yep. Do do do. It's raining tonight. Will something appear on TV? Let's find out. Oh, so does that calendar say P3? That's a good question. I do not look. Boom. Tick. 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 Hello? Oh, no. Go oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yep. She's definitely oh. in the world. Yep, something's up. Something is definitely up. Watch up. up. Oh, boy. Let's hope she doesn't die. That was definitely Yuki on the Midnight Channel just now. Oh, the music kicked up. Try to contact Chie. Try to contact, to contact Chie. I think Chie should know first. You're right. Let's get her to contact Yuki. Tomorrow's Sunday. So let's meet up at Juness first thing in the morning. Yeah. You promised to meet up with Yosuke tomorrow. You decided to go to bed early tonight. I don't Even know how 12 o'clock really is early. Wait, early tonight? It's already midnight. Yeah. <laughs> 